This is your DNA Info update for Tuesday, October 5th. It's raining in the high 50s now, dipping to the mid 50s this evening with showers. In your headlines, Mayor Michael Bloomberg urged 9-11 first responders to agree to a settlement that will expire in a month unless 95% of plaintiffs agree to it. The agreement would provide between $625 and $712 million to more than 10,000 workers who claimed injuries related to rescue efforts at Ground Zero. A previous settlement offer was rejected by a judge who said the amount was too small. Convicted terrorist Faisal Shahzad was sentenced to life in prison for his failed plot to blow up Times Square. Shahzad left an SUV filled with explosives in Times Square last spring, but the bomb didn't detonate. Shahzad warned Americans to prepare for more attacks while what he calls the war on Muslims continues in Afghanistan and Iraq. In Harlem, State Senator Bill Perkins has lashed out at Mayor Bloomberg for calling the debut of new voter machines for the primary a royal screw-up. Perkins is worried that the mayor's remarks could have a chilling effect on the turnout November 5th. Finally, fans of Bryant Park's bistro chairs could sit on them for free or take them home for $125. The iconic green chairs recently went up for sale online. Park officials said they're not looking to raise money with the sale, but to create stronger bonds between the public and the park. Those are your headlines. Get all your Manhattan local news at dnainfo.com.